So, so when you're able to see through that energy door, it's kind of you're entering through the door, and at a certain point, the location does not matter. You are you're seeing one world in which a lot of angry people are there. Right? I mean, election was a good example. It still is a good example. A lot of anger from ev all, everywhere. Right? During, after, a lot of anger. And if you look, your own anger in relation to that, you see, have you changed? Are you seeing any different? Are you feeling any different? Are you doing anything different? That's a good question, right? So, so if you knew any kind of right set of place, you'd begin to change your view. Then you see people, there is empathy. Rather than getting angry at them, there is empathy for them. In a way, you can only have empathy when you have some sense of experience of yourself. You cannot have empathy, then you don't know what it means to feel, feel the anger. If you don't know what it means to feel the pain, you don't know what it means to feel the sadness. If you have no idea what it feels like, experience of self, then there's no way to have empathy, you know. But any time when it clicks in you, aspect of yourself, triggers in you something, then you begin to feel empathy towards somebody, right? So then you feel empathy. You, 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 you are feeling empathy. You are open towards somebody who is, usually you might get angry at them. So you're cultivating. You feel genuine sense of some openness, genuine sense, some sense of empathy. You feel em empathize, you know, your, their pain, their suffering. You have some sense of there's openness. You're cultivating that. And then slowly, out of that empathy, sense of love comes out. Caring quality comes out. So in a way, your ability to feel care and loving quality towards somebody who is angry at you or who is angry at the world, who is you know, disturbing the world, that's the achievement, right? Because if there's one angry person, you don't need two angry p people there. You don't want to add there. You know, that becomes two, right? But one, the, and if, th if there's one angry person there, the other one is not angry like you. You're not angry, but you have a chance to, to help the person who is angry. So this is what's happening, right? So it's, it's not only a very objective sense of trying to, but it's always there's a, this, this is, I think it's interesting. In the practice, you, I don't know how you feel conflict or not, if you're being a little too busy or not, but, but somehow you can see when you're reflecting about somebody, something's also shifting in you. So it's like a, it's like a kind of going back and forth, back, back and forth. It's not always like a, you are perfect, you are fine, you have already transformed into the Buddha. Now your only job is to fix these guys, right? <laughs> that that's that's it's not like that. It's just kind of it's going back and forth. Your ability to see somebody is already you have shifted. Your ability to talk you have shifted. Your ability to connect you have shifted. Your ability to change you have shifted. It's it's somehow it's always in working in relationship. So that's why the the initially you're trying to ground yourself changing your own body, your own self-transformation, your own body, your own speech, your own mind, is kind of a key. That's the only way you will be able to see differently. And as simple as this, that not getting angry at angry person, feeling empathy and compassion and care. That's a change. It happens, right? Think about how many times you got angry at angry person, how many times you have felt empathy 
and compassion, love to an angry person. Think about that. You have both experiences. So, it, so what does that mean? That does not mean, it's not an automatic thing to get angry at an angry person. But it seems like that in everyday life. I mean, you look around, everybody, one person's angry, everybody's else angry at that. That seems like a very normal thing to happen. But not always. And that's, that's what we want here, right? We, want, we don't want to get angry at an angry person. We want to feel empathy. 